Hi. Let's use Morphogene and Mimeophone to layer up some sounds from an electric guitar. Ah, I love the sound of an idling electric guitar. Let's see what we can... Okay, that's probably not what you came to hear. We're here for the tones, the strumming, the chirping birds, and the babbling brooks. Let's start by just making a short recording. Now it will loop, and we can play over it. and add echoes via the mimeophone. And let's skew them for stereo action. A slow LFO to the micro rate input will add some subtle phase effects. If we press record again, we'll get sound on sound layering based on the length of the splice. There are actually two ways to loop here, either by stopping record and letting it play out, or by engaging hold on the mimeophone. If we do both at once, we get two loops of different lengths, juxtaposed, and in fact, with the left and right mimeophone channels skewed, they are also different lengths from each other. Let's try a shorter loop. Changing the vary speed control will let us hear successive loops pitched up or down. or reversed. By cranking up more, if we can add layers.
they can change their pitch at maximum morph speeds based on the ratios. I set two octaves up, one octave down, and one octave down reversed. So again, this will always be in tune with the layers, assuming the layers are in tune with themselves. Of course, we can sequence various things with CV if we aren't looking for static loops. Thank you. 
So this has shown some pretty basic looping and layering and texturing with an electric guitar. If you'd like to see some more creative and wild patching on our channel and even processing of acoustic instruments, then you're in luck because very soon this is going to happen. That's right, stay tuned for a video from Sarah Bell Reed on playing acoustic instruments with modular synthesizers. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, now would be a good time. Thanks for watching and happy patching.